Well, isn't that just perfect? Good morning. I woke up this morning to this glorious scene. It's snowing again. We're looking at two inches so far and it hasn't stopped yet. So I'm in a mood. We gotta get through this. This is day number 78,000 of self-isolation. My hair is completely out of control. It looks like shit, there's no style to it. I would pay, if I had it, I would pay thousands of dollars to get my hairstylist to come back and give me a little, little cut. I just found out I was turned down for unemployment, which I can't believe I qualified for in the first place, but they've decided, no, you contribute nothing. So that's not happening. So what do we have? got food. I'm always going to have food. You remember the other day I told you about my darling nephew, Jay, who makes the world's best Caesar salad from nothing, from absolutely nothing. He uses his own, he makes his own croutons. He always has, according to my niece, a dozen little tins of anchovies laying around the house. And uh, so with all this bad news, and the fact that we don't know when we're getting out, we have no idea when that's gonna happen. Um, I asked Jay to step in and help me out with uh, a Caesar salad. I may throw in a thing or two, you know, here or there, but you are gonna be so happy that I'm a fucking basket case today because now we have my very first, I'm so excited about this, our very first guest star. The wonderful, the handsome, the talented Jay Johnson. Get a pencil out and write this shit down. This is gonna be the best Caesar salad you've ever had. And I'm gonna couple that with either some fried chicken or um, some sausage or I don't know, whatever, whatever flips my jealous. Oh, I know. I'm gonna make the world famous buttermilk biscuits, which is in another video, but I'll show you how we do it again today. So, Jay, it's for you, buddy. Okay, while we're waiting for Jay to complete his tutorial on the Caesar salad of the gods, it's so fucking good, uh, I'm gonna show you how I make uh, spicy chicken wings in the air fryer. So no additional coating of bread and whatnot to add to your ass, uh, no, no butter, Although I kind of missed the butter. But anyway, let me just show you the easiest way since I want you all to get an air fryer anyway. You just pick up a nice, some chicken, you know, from your favorite chicken vendor. Is that a thing? I cut the drumstick off. I'm not a big fan of the drumsticks, but I do like this part. So I'll just separate as many of these as you want to eat, right? Ba -da boom, boom. I'll probably cook these anyway, but. Now, if you were lucky enough to be raised by a surgeon, as I was, you will find, oh, I just fucked it up. Find a way to find the joints and make short work of this little trim job. Sometimes I do it well, sometimes not so much. Oh, not so much this time. I told you my day sucks, but I refuse to stay in a sucky mood. It's gonna be a brilliant day today, I promise you that. Chicken wings. And Caesar salad ought to help out a lot. Okay, that's about enough. Um, oh good, it's snowing sideways now. Mm. What the actual fuck is going on with this planet? Mm. All right, I'm over it. We're gonna have chicken wings and Caesar salad. All right, Aunt Kim, I don't know what you did or said, or I don't know how this all came about, but somehow Jay Johnson, my loving, wonderful husband, is willing to open the vault on his classic Caesar salad recipe, which is like the best kept secret. So without further ado, I'm gonna let him spill the beans before he regrets it. Hey everybody, here we go. All right, first thing we're gonna do is definitely make these croutons. 
Uh, step one is croutons. Step two is the dressing with all these ingredients. And step three is just prepping and making the salad uh, with whatever meat. We're doing a little <clears throat> chicken today, but you can put shrimp, uh, salmon, anything on there um, as a meat, which is always good. So anyway, let's do this. All right, uh, we're gonna first, first is the, it's always good to make homemade croutons. Um, simply just take French bread or white bread or sourdough, cut up slices, and um, you sprinkle olive oil um, on, the, on the bread, and then a little, a lot of garlic salt, just, you know, don't be shy. Some rosemary I like, and salt and pepper. So I pre-made these, these are going straight in. You're gonna preheat the oven to 425 and chuck them in. They take about five to eight minutes. It's not a perfect science, so you just gotta keep watching them and when they're golden brown, they're good. This is one I made uh, just a little bit ago. We made a little batch, so yum. They're the best to test the dressing. So making good croutons is key, trust me. Um, or using really good ones. So that's step one. Step two, let's make the dressing. Easy stuff. You're gonna start with the anchovies. The biggest part of the plan is the anchovies. Without anchovies, it's not a Caesar. So you drain the oil, chuck the anchovies in, the blender, the ammo. I learned this from a table side Caesar at a couple different restaurants and I kind of perfected it eventually over the years. And uh, so anyway, back to it. Uh, anchovies, lots of garlic, fresh garlic, garlic cloves, boom, boom, boom. Cut them, cut them and prepped them, but about five or six cloves. I like a lot of garlic in my Caesar. It's really good. And then you got limes. Limes are massively important to the Caesar, about a whole half a lime, you squeeze it in there. And I like to use lemon as well, but you don't have to, but it's the best if you have both lemon and lime, I squeeze one like lime in there. Perfect. Sometimes I just eye these parts, but it's good. You just use one teaspoon of balsamic vinegar, tablespoon, not teaspoon. Sorry, I only have a tablespoon. Tablespoon vinegar. Liam Perrin's the classic. I use this in just about everything. Jess hates it. <laughs> I don't hate it totally. A it's teaspoon, situational. A teaspoon of that. <clears throat> a couple dashes of hot sauce. Three or four dashes. You can use all kinds of different hot sauce. You're going to use a tiny bit of... Oh, look at... Ah, ha, ha. That was hilarious. Whoops, we had a little accident, but it's all a tiny bit of, of um, Dijon mustard. You don't want to use a lot. It, it's, it's important to have in there, but you don't want a whole ton. Okie dokie. Uh, olive oil, obviously a key ingredient. You don't have to be shy here, but this, this uh, recipe um, serves about four. Yeah, it'll serve four if you do. You know, it's, a, it's not, a, again, it's not the perfect science all the time, but about that much olive oil, which is probably about a cup. <coughs> Salt and pepper. I use lots of pepper, hurt the hand. And then you have the old egg, but you're only using the yolk in the egg. So you crack it, flip it back and forth. This gross part, we won't show you on camera. And then chuck the yolk in there, boom, boom. And that's it. It's ready to roll. You blend it. Make sure you're keeping an eye on your croutons too. I'm gonna do that. Table side, they'll make this all in a bowl. 
and crush it all by hand, which is pretty cool. I've done that before as well, but I didn't need to do that today. Um, that's it. That's the dressing. I can almost guarantee it's going to be good because I made about a thousand. Uh, so we'll have just test it. And then the next step. Approved. You can leave it. Um, and then the next step is just making the salad. Super easy. Okay. One of the most brilliant spices ever is this wonderful uh, Mexican spice called Tejan, Tajin, T-A-J-I-N. This is so bloody good on any kind of fruit, pineapples, cantaloupe, watermelon, oh my God, uh, bananas, any kind of fruit. It's great on eggs, and I particularly like it for chicken wings. This is gonna make them taste their spicy best. Cover them top to bottom with this. I always have two or three extra uh, bottles of this in my pantry because it's wonderful. This is going to taste like anything you can get from Hooters. Hooters makes really great wings. I have Hooters, so I make wings, but I do it without oops, the extra breading or the butter. Uh-oh. <coughs> if you breathe it in, that's clearly a mistake. Don't do that, but be generous with this. If you wish, you can then serve this with, um, you know, the way you usually serve wings with a dipping sauce or whatever, but I'm telling you, it's absolutely not necessary to use anything else but this. Okay, so it's not like I'm hawking products to sell because I have no association with anybody on that, except for I like to tell you about stuff that I like and I love my air fryer. So I take these perfectly coated wings and I set them on the, what is this called, rack? And I'll do two layers, so no reason to crowd them. There is a chicken setting on the air fryer. And so we're just gonna set this on, on that setting. Uh -huh, uh -huh. One clean, one not so much. And in about 30 minutes, maybe a little less, we're gonna have perfectly cooked chicken wings hot out of the oven. Boom, you're following. Turn it on, chicken setting. Turn it on 370 degrees for I was close, 40 minutes. Sometimes that makes it too cooked for me. Um, so I start watching it around 30 minutes. If they're really fat wings, you may want to do a little bit more. I don't know, get yourself one of these fucking fryers. You're gonna love it, you're gonna absolutely love it. So, come back hungry, okay? That sounded like an order, but it's more of a recommendation. Come back hungry. Super easy, I prepped some lettuce right here, boom. Uh, just cut up romaine, didn't cut it up too fancy. You can cut up different ways and make it fancy if you'd like to make it a little more pretty, but this does, this does the trick for me. It's about the taste of this sucker. Parmesan is key, cutting up some nice Parmesan, fresh Parmesan, don't be shy. The Parmesan is beautiful. Oh yeah, we, we have to check these croutons. All right, see, these are only half done, so we would not have those done in time, but I already had them made, so the fresh croutons go on. Yum. This is the basic Caesar right here. If you don't wanna, if you want veggie style, you don't need to uh, add anything else, but pepper is key. Top it off, pepper always. And then it's the dressing. But let's put some chicken on first. You want some chicken, don't you, Kim? There she goes. Look at that. And then I just dribble, dribble it on with the same spoon. There it is. The classic Caesar. There you go, Kim. Oh, look at that. It's lunchtime. 
since I'm not working, I eat lunch at 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and thank you, Jay, for that absolutely spectacular Caesar salad. Here it is right now, folks. <gasps> Jay's Caesar salad. Delicious, phenomenal, so good for you. Um, I've coupled his salad with my easy to make chicken wings, which uh, has exactly two ingredients in it, wings and the Tejan or Te Tejan Mexican spice, which I am addicted to. Uh, I put three on my plate, which is just ludicrous because if you think I'm going to stop at three wings, you don't know me very well. I decided not to make the buttermilk biscuits because I can't stop at eating only one pan. So I will uh, wait and do those another day, but go back and find out how to make them. I've got a video about it and you'll love them. So thanks again, everybody. We have Caesar salad from Jay Johnson of California fame and me from my kitchen with chicken wings. Thank you. Bon appetit, everybody. Let's see what I come up with tomorrow. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure what. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.